much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I posted, uh, but then I just realized I really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy this whole process of YouTubing, so I'm just going to stick to it. And I tried Instagram for a while by posting three recipes a week. Um, I enjoyed it, then I got sick, and then I realized I just want to go back to YouTube, and it's just, it feels like I could just connect more and just show you more in depth of how to become wealthy. And by wealthy, I mean wellness plus healthy. <laughs> and healthy is different for everyone. Like for me, um, I really focus on nutrition and movement and also um, mindfulness. Um, but healthy could be something different from you. Um, you probably won't eat the same foods that I eat or you probably crave different things or um, culturally, you enjoy different types of food that I wouldn't and don't really consider right for my body. Yeah, so currently I'm reading this book called Becoming Natural by Joe Dispenza and it's actually really fascinating. It really motivates me to do more um, um, meditation on a regular basis uh, based off the first few pages that I read um, and I feel like it's just a game changer if you're trying to mentally build your mind and just really want to dive into wellness and how to use your mind as a tool instead of um, your mind using you as a tool, if that makes sense. I'm just going to put a sweet potato and I like to put my sweet potatoes, I like to start baking the sweet potato before I'm, you know, really hungry. That way it's already done. And by the time I start making lunch, it's finished and I don't have to um, worry about that. So I can have lunch at 11 a.m. Potatoes are roasting in my air fryer and this was probably one of the best investments I made. This, it's a, uh, what is it? It's, it's the Brevel air fryer and it's such a game changer. I use it as an oven, a toaster, an air fryer obviously. And there's other options too that you can use. I haven't used it yet. So far I just used the roast um, settings, the toast settings and the air fry. and. It is by far, so this is my oven, and it's huge. It takes forever to heat up. I would only use it now that I have this if, I have, if I'm making something large. Um, if I'm having a party, and making something large for the kids. Um, but other than, otherwise, I'm going to stick to using my Breville oven. Highly recommend it. It's wonderful. Um, but anyway, so this takes about an hour and like I said I like to uh, roast my potatoes um, before my lunch so that when it's lunch time I am ready to go my potatoes are ready to go and all I have to do is fix my salad which takes five minutes and yes another thing I like about my air fryer too is that um, I don't have to worry about it so I don't have to worry about oh my gosh is the oven still on or no because it turns off when the timer is um, once the timer goes off and I know you can also do that in the oven but that's a different setting and I just feel like it's safer too so and also just one more thing um, the air fryers that have the the pullouts mechanism is not ideal because that's lined with plastic and you get um, exposed to BPAs the lates and all of that bad stuff into your system, the forever chemicals that you don't want in there. So if you are trying to lead a healthy lifestyle, then highly recommend staying away from plastics and definitely do not cook with plastics. So that's just my two cents. <laughs>
All right, so the potatoes are done. I just heard it go off. So that's what it looks like when it's finished. I'm just gonna let that sit in there while I make the salad. I'm gonna show you quickly how I make my husband and I's salad. Pretty simple, takes less than five minutes. Here we go. These are all the salad ingredients that I use. Um, definitely some greens. I like this one because A, it's been washed three times, has a lot of protein-based greens, and of course it's organic. And I ran out of that one. I haven't gone to Whole Foods yet, so at Trader Joe's they have this one as well. Power Greens, Baby Kale, Baby Chard, and Baby Spinach. Everything organic, and I think this has been washed too. I like to get ones that are pre-washed because it makes life easier, but I think I have to wash these because it doesn't say it's been pre-washed. Um, that's okay. Uh, some raspberries. I try to get everything organic. Blueberries, blackberries. This one I just eat as a side. One's just I just snack on. Gotta have my dates and everything. I love dates. I probably should. I try to eat at least 10 dates a day. Balsamic vinegar. This is the really good kind. Super thick. I recommend this. Getting a really thick one because it's just packed with flavor. Lasts a while. Great quality. Um, this one was about $35, but it's going to last me a long time because I'll show you how much I use. Very little. And then this acid leak living vinegar, I got strawberry rosé. So far it tastes really good, just the two of these. I used to make my own salad dressings, but um, I'm just not doing it right now because it's, it's a little bit time consuming and I made it in these little tiny jars and then it's also time consuming by just cleaning it out and so. And that just tastes delicious as it's just simple, clean, perfect. <laughs> Let's get into the salad. Oh, I forgot I have to wash my greens. Uh, I just hate washing greens. I like when it comes pre-washed. Let's do that.
As you can see, the salad was super simple and easy to make. It also didn't take that long either. The only thing that took long were, you know, to roast the potatoes and that you could just do an hour before you are getting ready to make lunch, um, which is what I like to do. And it's super tasty, super delicious. And it, to me, it doesn't even feel like I'm eating a salad because everything in here is just so tasty and so good. The berries really make it, give it a sweet flavor. And I don't know, I like sweet salads. So the sweet potatoes are obviously, has a nice taste. The dates, the berries, the balsamic vinegar, everything combined is perfect together. And also I added the sprinkle of, um, buckwheat, sprouted buckwheat puffs, and that just gives an extra protein. I also added almonds to give uh, some healthy fats. I just came back from Whole Foods and actually I stopped by Lululemon and found some cute outfits for our rafting uh, trip coming up soon. And I just wanted to find something that was waterproof and comfortable. And I was actually looking for pants that could change into shorts uh, by unzipping it. And I actually found some, which was surprising. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick haul for you guys starting with the Whole Foods haul. Let's set you guys up. I didn't get too much from Whole Foods because it's not a full week grocery shopping. It's more like just a midweek. Today is Tuesday and um, just noticed we were running late on a couple of things. So first and foremost, I got some frozen stir fried blend. I like using this when I make uh, red curry and um, teriyaki, veggie teriyaki, and just other stuff. I always use this perfect because you just pop it in the freezer and it's good to go. So I like buying things in bulk. Pineapple chunks for my smoothies. More apples. And some more frozen fruits because I like making tarts and other raw vegan desserts. My organic girl, because as you know from this morning or this afternoon, we ran out and I bought this for my stepdaughter. Um, pumpkin seeds, we use that in the morning for our breakfast. Broccoli, some more fruits. I bought these um, rice noodles. These are really good. I like the fact that they're made out of brown rice. This one's made out of buckwheat and brown rice. Um, and this one is just made out of brown rice. And it just is simple, clean ingredients. And I love it. There's only one ingredient and it's organic brown rice. More fruit. You guys see the theme here, just fruits, vegetables. A little bit of greens here and there. But yeah, we're definitely running out of blackberries and blueberries. And um, Trader Joe's doesn't have it. Sometimes Trader Joe's, it's a hit or miss. They have uh, what you're looking for, then they don't. Oh. So I bought these pecans, but I didn't realize they are not organic, but that's okay. Um, more noodles. Cashews. I try to always buy organic. This is a tamarind paste. I see this a lot in um, raw vegan recipes, um, so I'm curious to try it in the meals I make. Red curry paste. I make red curry every Mondays, and I use a lot of this. This is such a great product because, one, everything is organic, and there's no added sugar or just, it's just very clean. It's, when you look at the ingredients, it's just, everything is clean. It's nothing really processed. I mean, yes, this is minimally processed, but it's not anything you can't pronounce. So it's all clean ingredients. 
Um, so I really like this brand. It's um, Makala Wholesome Natural Living. I think that's the name of that brand. And I bought more dates. I can't live without my dates. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the fridge and all this stuff away. Yesterday I made this delicious blueberry tart um, that I'm going to snack on. It's so good and so it's a raw vegan um, dessert. Let me show you guys quickly. So yeah, as you can see, everyone enjoyed it and I just saved this last little piece for myself that I'm going to enjoy right now. It tastes very sweet, um, and yet there's no sugar added. Uh, so the only flavorings I added was um, vanilla extract and also dates. So dates is very healthy for you and highly recommend it. I eat it on a daily basis, and I don't crave any sugar, which is great. And I actually owe it all to eating dates throughout the day. Um, now, do I recommend eating this every single day, like this, all of this? No, but I think a slice, if you eat a slice every day, then you should be okay. Because all it's made out of is um, nuts, a little bit of coconut, uh, coconut flakes, um, and dates. I could link the recipe if you guys are interested. Just let me know in the comments below. I am working on an ebook or you'll get mainly all the recipes I make throughout the week. Um, just so if you feel inspired to make it and if you think it looks delicious, then you can make it at home. Or you can make it together one day via online. <laughs> or in person if you live in Vegas. It's almost 6 o'clock. I'm going to start on dinner. Today I'm making mushroom tacos.